Hello, today I'll be talking about Kabuto. Its previous BYC dates are July 15th, 1996, May 6th, 1999, February 24th, 2002, December 15th, 2004, October 6th, 2007, July 27th, 2010, May 17th, 2013, March 7th, 2016, December 27th, 2018, and October 17th, 2021. I'm not nearly as much a fan of Kabuto as I am of Almanite. Almanite is cute. Kabuto is scary. Anyway, let's get in the Bulbapedia article. Hello and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today we'll be talking about Kabuto, the shellfish Pokemon whose number is 0140. This is what it looks like. Its type is rock water. Abilities are swift swim or battle armor. Weak armor is its hidden ability. Gender ratio is 87.5% male or 12.5% female. Catch rate is 45 or 11.9%. Breeding is a group water 1 and water 3. Hash time is 30 cycles. Height is 1 foot 8 or 0.5 meters. Weight is 25.4 pounds or 11.5 kilograms. Base experience yields is 119 in the first 3 gens, 99 in gen 4, and 71 in 5 plus. Leveling rate is medium fast. EV yield is 1 in defense. Shape is that, but print is that. Pokedex color is brown, and base friendship is 70. Kabuto is a dual-type rock water fossil Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It is revived from a dome fossil and evolves into Kabutops starting at level 40. Biology, Kabuto is a small anthropod Pokemon resembling a horseshoe crab. It is mostly flat with a protective brown shell covering its body. There are two small black eyes on top of its shell which it uses for sight when it hides on the ocean floor. Underneath the shell is a black space that hides the structure of its main body. Only its four short yellow legs and a second pair of luminescent red eyes are visible on its underside. In its original time, Kabuto was prominently found on beaches, likely aided by its fast and powerful swimming ability. While it is commonly believed to be extinct, isolated populations of Kabuto have been unchanged for 300 million years. Evolution, Kabuto evolves into Kabutops. So Kabuto, Kabutops. Game data, Pokedex entries. In Gen 1, in red and blue, a Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil found in what was once the ocean floor eons ago. Yellow, a Pokemon that was recovered from a fossil. It uses the eyes on its back while hiding on the sea floor. Chidium, a Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil found in an ancient seabed, unable to right itself if it is flipped over. On rare occasions, some have been found as fossils which they became while hiding on the ocean floor. Silver, this Pokemon lived in ancient times. On rare occasions, it has been discovered as a living fossil. Crystal, 300 million years ago, it hid on the sea floor. It also has eyes on its back that glow. For Stadium 2, if you have Pokemon Red, Silver, Crystal inserted, you get the Gold entry, but if you have Pokemon Blue, Gold, or Yellow inserted, you get the Silver entry. In Gen 3, in Ruby and Sapphire, Kabuto is a Pokemon that has been regenerated from a fossil. However, in extremely rare cases, living examples have been discovered. The Pokemon has not changed at all for 300 million years. Emerald, it is a Pokemon that has been regenerated from a fossil. However, in rare cases, living examples have been discovered. Kabuto have not changed for 300 million years. By red, this Pokemon was regenerated from the fossil of an ancient creature. It protects itself with a hard shell. A Pokemon that was regenerated from a fossil found in what was once the ocean floor long ago. In Gen 4, in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, it is thought to have inhabited beaches 300 million years ago. It is protected by a stiff shell. Heart Gold is its gold counterpart while Soul Silver is basically its silver counterpart, but Pokemon is now the correct casing. The Gen 5 Pokedex entries are Diamond, Pearl, and Platinums. In Gen 6, X is the same entry. Y is basically the Fire Red entry, but Pokemon is now the correct casing. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are basically Ruby and Sapphires, but Kabuto and Pokemon are the correct casing. In Gen 7, in Ultra Sun, this Pokemon thrived 3 million years ago. It's said that living specimens can still be seen in a certain region, a rare sight. Ultra Moon, this Pokemon became extinct everywhere except in a few areas. It protects itself with its hard shell. The Let's Go games are basically yellows, but Pokemon is now the correct casing and seafloor is now one word. In Gen 8, in Sword, this species is almost entirely extinct. Kabuto molt every three days, making their shells harder and harder. Shield, while some say this species has gone extinct, Kabuto sightings are apparently fairly common in some places. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are their Diamond and Pearl counterpart. Kabuto in the Alola Pokedex, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Game locations, side game locations, and events, 
held items. Once again, they are just asterisks instead of the standard sentence. Well, for this one, it would be the held items in Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game. For this one, it is also apparently the same rules. And this one is just like, it's from round 1 and round 2. And events are just events. Um, red, blue, and yellow, get a Bitterberry 100% of the time. Stadium, you get a normal box 100% of the time, and gorgeous box 100% of the time. Events, you get a Choppleberry 100% of the time. Stats, base stats, HP 30, attack 80, defense 90, special attack 55, special defense 45, speed 55, for a total of 355. This Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 45. Pokathon stats, type effectiveness, damage normally by rock, bug, ghost, steel, water, psychic, dragon, dark, and fairy. Week 2 Fighting, Ground, Grass, and Electric, all for double, except for Grass, which is 4. Immune to Nothing, Resistant to Normal, Flying, Poison, Fire, and Ice, all for half, except for Fire, which is for a fourth. Learn Set by leveling up, 1, Absorb and Harden, 5, Scratch, 10, Sand Attack, 15, Aqua Jet, 20, Leer, 25, Mud Shot, 30, Ancient Power, 35, Brine, 41, Protect, 45, Leech Life, 50, Liquidation, 55, Metal Sound, and 60, Stone Edge. By TM slash DR and Sword and Shield. TM, 15, Dig, 16, Screech, 21, Rest, 22, Rock Slide, 23, Thief, 24, Snore, 25, Protect, 27, Icy Wind, 28, Giga Drain, 31, Attract, 32, Sandstorm, 33, Rain Dance, 35, Hail, 36, Whirlpool, 39, Facade, 48, Rock Tomb, 53, Mud Shot, 54, Rock Blast, 55 brine, and 76 round. For the TRs, 1 body slam, 3 hydro pump, 4 surf, 5 ice beam, 6 blizzard, 16 waterfall, 18 leech life, 20 substitute, 26 endure, 27 sleep talk, 46 iron defense, 67 earth power, 75 stone edge, 76 stealth rock, 84 scald, and 98 liquidation. Brilliant diamond, shining pearl, 3 water pulse, 7 hail, 13 ice beam, 14 blizzard, 17 protect, 18 rain dance, 19 Giga Drain, 28 Dig, 32 Double Team, 37 Sandstorm, 39 Rock Tomb, 40 Aerial Ace, 42 Facade, 44 Rest, 45 Attract, 46 Thief, 49 Scald, 55 Brine, 58 Endure, 69 Rock Polish, 71 Stone Edge, 76 Stealth Rock, 80 Rock Slide, 82 Sleep Talk, 87 Swagger, 90 Substitute, 95 Surf, 98 Rock Smash, 99 Waterfall. By Breeding and Sword and Shield, this group gives you Aurora Beam, this group gives you Bubble Beam, this group gives you Confuse Ray, this group gives you Flail, this group gives you Knock Off, this group gives you Mega Drain, this group gives you Rapid Spin, and this group gives you Takedown. In Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, this group gives you Aurora Beam, this group gives you Bubble Beam, this group gives you Confuse Ray, this group gives you Flail, this group gives you Icy Wind, this group gives you Knock Off, this group gives you Mega Drain, this group gives you Mud Shot, this group gives you Rapid Spin, this group gives you Screech, and this group gives you Takedown. By tutoring in the Sword and Shield Expansion Pass, you can get Meteor Beam. It's a special Rock-type move. Its power is 120, accuracy 90%, and PP Haha is 10. By transfer from another generation, 3, 6, and 7, you get Aerial Lace. 1, you get Bide. That doesn't work anymore. 4, you get Captivate. That doesn't work anymore. 6 and 7, you get Confide. 2, you get Curse. 1 through 7, you get Double Team. 1 and 3, you get Double Edge. 5 through 7, you get Foresight, that doesn't work anymore. 2 through 7, you get Frustration, that doesn't work anymore. 7, you get Headbutt. 2 through 7, you get Hidden Power, that doesn't work anymore. 5 and 6, you get Hone Claws. 1 and 3, you get Mimic. 4, you get Mudslap. 4, you get Natural Gift, that doesn't work anymore. 1, you get Rage, that doesn't work anymore. 1 and 7, you get Reflect. 2 through 7, you get Return, that doesn't work anymore. 4 through 7, you get Rock Polish. 2, 5... And 6, you get Rock Smash. 7, you get Rock Throw. 2 through 4, you get Roll Out. 3, 4, and 6, you get Secret Power that doesn't work anymore. 1, you get Slash. 5 through 7, you get Smackdown. 2 through 7, you get Swagger. 1 through 7, you get Toxic. 1, you get Water Gun. 3, 4, 6, and 7, you get Water Pulse. And 4 through 7, you get Ring Out that doesn't work anymore. Side game data. You got all this, yep. Yeah. Pokemon Ranger, Guardian Signs, in the browser entry, it triggers Rock Falls to attack. Okay, got all this. Yeah. In Pokemon Go, Kabuto could be obtained by completing one-fifth of the time-limited special research Season of Legends. Evolution data, Kabuto, level 40, Kabutops, sprites, so, you know, he got the basics. Actually, that's very clever to have it, the back one, be the top of the shell, and then, that because the red and blue one, 
that's just the same image. Like, obviously it's not, though. Like, very clearly not. I don't think that's silly. Uh, yellow fixes it, though, by showing both eyes. Kind of in between, I guess. And the things are a little bit bigger. It's more rounded now. You know, these are a little bit different. This one obviously doesn't work for that one anymore. But yeah, that one's stupid. Um, gold. So, these got the red. That introduces kind of the red eyes. But these, for some reason, go back to just being kind of white eyes, I guess. Um, and these now have prop more of the back being a little bit different than just a solid shell, like you can see here. Um, but yep, it's a darker brown. Also, the shiny is the sort of green, I guess. Okay, Gen 3 brings back the red eyes, and you can now see the eyes more on the front, kind of how, like, the back sprite has them, because you can really see that here. Um, these are now yellow. This is now green with the yellow features. Yep. It's a different shade of brown. Uh, it's moving. That's fun. Okay. Um, diamond pearl. Got this. Yep. It's a different shade of brown and probably a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, I think even the legs are a little bit smaller. It's a sh different shade of green. Um, yep. It's a little different as well. Get to see a little bit more of the indent on the side. Um, Gen 5, get the full back sprite, I guess, again. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then Gen 6 introduces... The bottles here. So, the legs go back to being a little bit bigger. That's interesting. These are more flat rather than kind of... They almost look like they're bulging out of the bottom. Um, this is a different brown. This is a different green. Yep. So, of course, better models. Uh, homes. Got that. You know, different brown, different green. Although, much closer green than this brown is to that one. Uh, oh, this is more of a gold. That's interesting. Well, those are still brown. I don't think that's in the... No, not really. Um, in the anime, Kabuto in the anime with a well, Amistar and Almanite. Okay, got all this. Yeah. Pokedex entries for this first one. I already recorded it for Amistar's video, so we'll let Dexter read it. Almanite and Amistar. Kabuto and Kabutops. It is believed that these Pokemon became extinct tens of thousands of years ago. The details of their behavior is shrouded in mystery. Though some have speculated that they may still exist, none of these Pokemon have ever been seen alive. In episode 89 in Ash's Pokedex, Kabuto, the ancient Pokemon. Incorrect, it should say the shellfish Pokemon. Though this Pokemon is now believed to be extinct, it had a hard shell that protected its body and is believed to have been a powerful swimmer. In the manga, so you've got Kabuto in Pokemon Adventures and a tank with an angry uh, Geodude here for some reason. Uh, in the TCG, in the TFG. Trivia, in the Pokemon Red and Blue Beta, Kabuto was originally known as at, which is derived from the word Atlantis. I read the second point in the Blastoise video. Origin, Kabuto's design consists of a mix of Trilobite, a prehistoric anthropod that lived between the Cambrian and Permian periods, and the still living but considered a living fossil horseshoe crab. Name origin, Kabuto may be derived from Kabuto helmet and Kabutugani horseshoe crab. Aww. In other languages, related articles to the fossils and fossil Pokemon. Got all that. Yeah, external links, let's move on. Since we've already watched Kabuto's first two scenes in the anime, in the Ammonite and Amistar videos, let's watch Kabuto's third scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Today we are watching episode 46. Attack of the Prehistoric Pokemon. In this episode, Ash Ketchup, the main character, and his traveling companions, Rock and Misty, have come to Grant Pa Canyon, where they have overheard Team Rocket, consisting of Jesse, James, Meowth, and Arbok, and Weezing, talk about their plan to blow up the canyon using dynamite to get all the Pokemon fossils so they can sell them and make, you know, money and stuff. Um... And so, Ash and his Pikachu have gone after Team Rocket to try to stop them, but they've already started the fuse. So, Ash and Pikachu go to stop the fuse, 
um, and Team Rocket chases after them. The, the, the fuse blows up, and they landed on this cave where they've met a bunch of these prehistoric Pokemon, pretty much all of the fossil Pokemon from Gen 1. Um, and he, Ash has pointed out that their eyes don't look right, you know, that they're, they're all kind of bloodshot here and stuff, you know. Pokemon seem really angry. Yeah. Ooh, they look like That's they just woke down. up. Maybe yeah. these Pokemon so. weren't fossilized, but we're just... Sleeping. Um, so, yes, that's Ash, Pikachu, Meowth, Jesse, James, Arbok, coughing. That's it! The dynamite must have woken them up after thousands of years! Shut the alarm clock! <laughs> <laughs> ah, never mind, let's just capture this! Pokemon, go! So, that I would say, since it is a fighting scene, that would be Kabuto's scene in the anime. Let's move on. Now, let's see why people love Kabuto! Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody set in fan art, so instead we're looking at DVD art fan art. For those of you familiar with the series, you might be wondering why we're on this single image. That's because this is the only image we'll be doing today. So this is Kabuto by Joshua Dunlop. This more realistic Kabuto here. That's kind of fun. You can definitely see something like this in Detective Pikachu. You know, very kind of fun, and you can see it up close, and then kind of see the full body in the background with another one there. That's Kind of fun. That's it. Let's move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I'll be streaming today at 3 p.m. CMT, Central Mountain Time, but I won't be getting a Kabuto, as I need to wait until I talk about Snorlax before I can resurrect Kabuto from the Dome Fossil. Instead, I'm going to try to get the Dome and Helix Fossils, catch Ekans and evolve it into Arbok, catch a Jigglypuff and evolve it into Wigglytuff, and catch up Oddish and evolve it into Gloom. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Kabutops. As always, this is my proper outfit, and you'll see me tomorrow.